Hi everyone, Happy New Year. Um, I just wanted to show you guys a few more things. I'm finally ready to go on my trip as far as my navigation is concerned. So I've been working the past three weeks creating these different files and my camera has a like a 20 minute time limit so it timed out before I showed you guys what I wanted to show you but going back over here to your dashboard so you're at your dashboard you could search whatever address you want and I have tested it now and yeah you just enter any any uh, address up here you want and it will it will show you how to get there turn by turn instructions everything um, one thing I noticed that <clears throat> since my video my last video there's been a few people that have been creating uh, definitely for Tierra del Sol coming up um, um, one thing I noticed there's some people that are like look at this this is this is a freeway you don't need to create all the way from wherever your house is all the way to the trail over here at like Big Bear or anything like that you don't need to do that these these devices will tell you how to get there you all you have to do is you know tell the device hey I want to go this this is one important thing I wanted to show you guys that I that it my my camera cut you guys off on but search settings journal okay all those uh, GPX files that you upload they're in there you know they've as long as you log on and yeah it did work from I was I was programming everything with this smaller one the TR5 and yesterday I fired up the TR7 for the first time and yes it does work all I did was log on and boom everything was there and I went to my I, and I, I think it took like 30 seconds and it was it was all there boom everything I've been doing okay so and then like the other other thing is your wish list you know it's it's all there too just like I was training I was uh I was uh, getting ready for it. but back uh, back over here to the web page okay so let's say for instance you find a a uh, a route that you want to consider right well let's, let's go to what back over here where I where I'm, my plan is so what I wanted to do was you know just in case my route doesn't work somebody else has has been there and they have all these different ones right okay so what I could do well shoot it's usually if you click on one of these, you see this little uh, this little box right here, Mojave Road Track. You click that right there, and it puts it in your wish list. Okay, see it's the roundy round. Hopefully, it's not of the death. Okay, good. So you look at the last one, Mojave Road Track. There it is. Bam. And you come back over here to your wish list on your on your device. It'll take a few seconds, you know, it won't be instantaneous, but that Mojave road track will come up. Let's go back over here to the dashboard, give it some time. But anyway, so you can, you can actually import through the wish list what other people are putting in there. And it'll be in your wish list. Of course, you need to do this before you leave. So... These GPX uh, files are great for planning, not actual, not actual, uh, not actual, you know, these plant, these uh, little dotted ones, they're, they're kind of, I'm thinking they're not confirmed. See how these are dotted? That's what I created. This is what somebody else created, the yellow ones. And I noticed that a lot of people for Tierra del Sol, it's coming up in March have been creating these files and um, some of them you know is like a five hour loop see I created this this one this purple one shows me mine and um, other, I mean from the last time that I was on here my last video so some other people have been creating their own GPX files and uploading them on here and sharing them now there's some places that I'm not going to share I'm not going to publish 
but I will upload into my account and that they'll they'll stay secret with me I'm not publishing those you can do the same thing with your favorite hangouts but the ones that you think that hey they'd be kind of cool to share or you want your friends to be able to see they'll uh, they'll be able to see them on their navigation devices so um, another point that I wanted to point out was so through the uh, Let's see, there's a Tierra del Sol webpage at tds4x4.com. So that's coming up in March 1st through 3rd, 2019. So yeah, it's 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 kind of cool. And they have a fireworks show. Last year they didn't, they didn't have the fireworks show because it was way too windy. But normally if it's not too bad, they'll, they'll have the fireworks show. And that's really cool. Good thing to go go see. Bring the whole family. Anyway, so so a lot of people have been going on TRX Trailhead and uploading their favorite little uh, you know routes that they like to do and stuff like that. So that's kind of cool. Um, but backing up to the uh, GPS visualizer, okay, slash draw. So it takes you up to this this page over here. So you create these files, right? And you save them. And let me see. So this is what all the work that I've been doing. So these are all different files. So this is, uh, you know, I did the nipped into Prim, Prim the Calico, Prim the Calico. I have not seen that one yet on all these files, these GPX files that you create with GPS visualizer. You can see them with Google Earth. So here they are, Google Earth. Click OK. So you open up your, your Google Earth. And uh, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it does not. It's been giving me problems. I don't understand what's going on. But anyway, Prim to Calico. Click to open. Boom. And now, if you go to your Google Earth view, see how it wasn't there just a few seconds ago. Now it is. And this gives you the Google Earth view for your GPX file that you have. And this is the one I created. It starts at Whiskey Pete's Hotel, you know, right at the Chevron gas station, and uh, takes you off road onto, you know, totally separate from the 15. <laughs> okay. So, oh, let me back up here. So it takes you all the way from Prim, completely off-road, all the way through to Mule Canyon Road. I don't know if any of you have ever experienced Mule Canyon Road, but it's, it's, it's real, real close to the uh, Calico Ghost Town. See right here is Calico Ghost Town. And there's the, uh, the access road to Calico Ghost Town. And it takes you through Calico. Uh, through the Mule Canyon Road, and, uh, Google Earth. Yeah, I, you know, I don't. I know that uh, uh, Magellan will sell you the uh, the maps. See, I was it 100 percent. But don't go off road here. <laughs> so you got to keep an eye on your trail. See yeah, right there. So when you're clicking, you're not 100 percent. But uh, anyway, just stay on the trail. Don't, don't listen completely. It's a guide, not, not, uh, you know, not gospel, as they say. It's a guide. But uh, anyway, so you can see the Google, Google Earth view of this. Anyway, so this is from, this is my route from Prim to Calico, and then uh, I go back over here to File, Open, and I want to see the. Uh, from uh, Nipton, where the heck is Nipton? Nipton to Prim, click OK, and now going back to Prim, and now it shows you from Prim to Nipton, it's a historic town, okay, see that? And that's where Nipton, California is, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's where Nipton is. And this is a different segment that I have. Nipton to the border. 
and then uh, let's go from border to searchlight so we'll go back over here to open and uh, the searchlight to the border click on that and watch this boom see that so it's all it all comes up in uh, in Google Earth as well okay so these files what I've been doing is uh, I've been directly emailing them to to friends that are coming with me on this trip so they have it on their devices so anyway and uh, let me see if I could do the open and we're gonna do uh, Xmas to no, not Xmas. It's uh, and then uh, so that's see. There's this road called Christmas Road, and this is from Christmas Road to Loran Road. So I guess what I'm looking for now is uh, going to Loran to Searchlight. That another file I created. Boom. See that? So these are all planning files. These GPX files are planning files. And that's very important when you go off-road. You know, you want to be able to plan fuel stops. You don't want to get stuck out there. And I'll be honest on the uh, the Prim to Prim to Calico, I, I rated it a 5. And the reason I did that is I don't want anybody to just like, oh, I'm going to, they're not planning things out. And they, uh, they just say, oh, I'm going to go follow it. That's 100 miles, more than 100 miles of off-road. You better start off with fuel. <laughs> you know, Calico does not have fuel. <laughs> so you have to have the fuel already. And that's the only reason I did that. I, I'm, I'm thinking it's really a 3 or maybe even a 2 for a one for some people but planning is important and I want to make sure I hammer that point home because I don't want you guys go out there run out of gas in the middle of the trails so and generally speaking if you see the ones that I've made I've made it where <laughs> it's pretty much where the gas stops are um, I mean why bring gas cans when you can just fill up right anyway and and that's probably another point to hammer home is you don't know who's making these other files on the TRX trailhead. Hopefully they're they're cool people and they have your safety in mind. So uh, you know they just gotta take it with a grain of salt. Always uh, have enough fuel. Always see. Let me just click on this one real quick. This one says difficulty. He didn't even rate it. <laughs> Does. Um, but it does tell you here, 13.5 miles off-road, okay? Um, you can click on a different one. It says 9 miles, 9.1 miles of off-road. So, these are all things to consider. And, but uh, the beauty is, you can come in here, you can click on the, uh, the little, on the, on the uh, actual trip, and... You can, like, say you want to do this Corva, and it says 27 miles of off-road goodness. Come over here, click on the uh, little blue box, go to your wish list, and guess what's there? Well, it'll be it'll be here. You know. Corva, and there it is, Corva. So what I did was I go over here, your wish list. I hit the wish list, and boom, there it is, Corva. And then, check this out. So you come over here to your journal. And you come over here to your wish list. And let's see, let's see what we got. Still not up there. What the hey? It'll come up. You just give it a few minutes or what have you. Let's go over here to this other one. They're pretty much going to be the same thing. Anyway, man. Maybe I need to sync it up, huh? Cancel that. Go back to your dashboard. Anyway, 
shoot <laughs> bad it'll come up you got to give it time but once once it's in there you'll see it in here it's almost as if you got to log off and then re-log back on yeah, let's try that shut it off powering off mode Let's go back on. Give this a whirl. Hello. Wake up. Anyway, it will be on there. I can't guarantee it'll be within 30 seconds. I can't even guarantee it'll be within a day, but but uh it will come up. So that trail is 43 miles, and they plan on it being a six, almost seven hour drive, 6.44 hours. So they, they must have either done it, yeah, they, they did, whoever did it, did it. Took them that long to do it, if you come over here. So some of these are, I, I believe, and I'm not 100% sure, but these dash ones are somebody planning and these right here is when you hit that little uh, button on your device, it'll start recording it. And that, so that's actually been done. And yeah, that, I guess that's how long it took. So th there's some things that I still don't know about it, but eh, it's all part of the experience, right? You don't want, you got to have some level of uh, adventure and no, um, lack of, oh, there it is right there, boom. Remember how I was saying? Corva. There it is. So I I came over here, right? And I, I added that Corva one to my wish list with that blue box. And then uh, it comes up on the computer screen. Comes up on the computer screen as Corva 2018. See, the blue box is, is not here. But anyway, if I, if I want to get rid of it, hit it, put it in the trash. And then, sure enough, give it, give the uh, give the uh, the navigation, t you know, some time. You can hit, you know, click go, and there you go. It starts taking you. Proceed to West Eighty Seventh Place. Yep. So that's how it works. All right, and it all starts from your your dashboard, and then over to your journal wish list yeah in fact this is the one this carol drive i when i first took it on a test drive yeah cancel yes i want to cancel the current ones proceed to west 87th place so anyway so i wanted to go see christmas lights so i i did that carol drive and that's let me click out of here. Cancel route, yes. Dashboard. And anyway, what's interesting is 